All right, what's going on guys? Chris with Jerno's Comics and I got a, a special video today talking on the reaction of Zendaya being cast as um, Mary Jane in the upcoming Spider-Man Homecoming. Obviously, it's been about a week now since um, since it was at least, um, you know, releases. It, the rumors were, were released and it's it's basically pretty much confirmed. I know that it hasn't been specifically confirmed by Marvel Studios, but with you know, um, all the people speaking on it, uh, even up to Stanley, um, it, it, it's a, a pretty much a confirmed, uh, cast. So my opinion on this, um, obviously a lot of backlash when it comes to, um, when a character's race is, is changed, um, from the comic books to the movies. Um, we've seen this, uh, before in the past, just recently with, um, uh, uh, Fantastic Four with the Human Torch. Um, so, so yeah, so Mary Jane, I mean, you can say, I don't know if you want to say Mary Jane is more iconic than, than um, Human Torch, but in, in a sense, for a female character that has such a leading role in a Marvel storyline, you know, she is uh, a unique and definitely stands out above the rest. Um, even her, her, her attitude... Even even the the way she's portrayed in the art in her her physical um, you know look uh, has been very unique. It's you know she's always been very strong uh, in terms of her look, strong features, as well as a very strong attitude. Um, so I'm gonna go into it like this. Before I start talking about Zendaya, I'm gonna go into talking about Kirsten Dunst. Okay, let me talk about Kirsten Dunst's Mary Jane first. Kirsten Dunst was completely 0%, in my opinion, Mary Jane. Uh, Kirsten Dunst had red hair. That was about it. Uh, and it wasn't even the proper red hair, if you ask me. Kirsten Dunst portrayed a very weak, soft-spoken, whiny Mary Jane. <laughs> I actually, I think the uh, Toby Maguire was a little whiny too. I'm not saying he did a bad job, but uh, it, it seemed to be kind of the theme between them two. A lot of whininess. When if you actually read the comics, and guys, I have read every single issue of Amazing Spider-Man. Every single issue up to date. I've read every single issue of Web of in the 80s and 90s, of Spectacular from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s, from the Spider-Man run uh, McFarlane that changed to Peter Parker Spider-Man. I've read every Spider-Man book. I know Mary Jane. Mary Jane was not Kirsten Dunst. Now let me tell you what Mary Jane is, leading up to how I feel about Zendaya. Mary Jane is not weak. She is strong. Even when before Peter Parker and Mary Jane were together, she was strong minded. She did whatever the hell she wanted to do, whether or not, you know, she had a lot of issues growing up, um, you know, family issues at home. Maybe she wanted to rebel. Maybe that can be seen as a weakness, but it showed her strength to want to be free. All right. She always spoke up for herself and, and she stuck by Peter Parker's side through thick and thin, through life or death. She is just an overall very strong woman. She's confident. She's sexy and she knows it. And Mary Jane is a uh, is a model, you know, and, and not to stereotype models, but she is what you would consider a bombshell model and not to take away from Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst is more the girl next door and a pun to actually in those first three movies, them actually putting her as uh, Peter Parker's neighbor, which was kind of altered uh, from the comic books who we know her aunt was uh, Peter's neighbor, not actually her. So, um, you know. Kirsten Dunst is more this quiet girl next door, kind of cutesy girl, but did not have the the flavor and the appeal and the, and the sexiness that Mary Jane in the comic books from all the artists ha have uh, embodied within her throughout the years. So let's go into Zendaya, okay? I'm not even going to talk about Zendaya's race up front. I'm going to talk about what I feel about Zendaya just in her attitude and her appearance physically. Zendaya is fierce. Her appearance is fierce. Her attitude is fierce. Now, don't go back and, and watch her Disney stuff when she was a young teenager and judge on that. We see what a lot of these uh, Disney actors uh, grow up and, and become completely different. We can't base this on her Disney roles. Okay. Zendaya herself is from the streets of Oakland, California. I'm from the Bay. 
Oakland was my stomping grounds, okay? I know how rough Oakland can be, and I think she kind of carries this kind of roughness and this swagger with her. Um, she has really um, <clears throat> strong features, um, and uh, I, I think she carries the look and the attitude of Mary Jane. Now, get this. Zendaya, the, the argument of the race thing, Zendaya's, Mary Jane isn't black, okay? First off, Zendaya is mixed race. She is black and white, okay? Uh, again, now this is maybe neither here or there, but due to her uh, ethnicity, she has actually very strong resemblance within her facial features as Mary Jane does. Now let's look at these comic books. I wish I had pictures of Zendaya to, to put right next, but you guys can Google it. These are three different artists, okay? But you notice something with these three different artists. The very, the thick lips, the really, the kind of big elongated eyes with the elongated uh, eyelashes that give, it, that give her eyes length, okay? Kind of a, kind of a petite nose. Um, rounded at the end, strong cheekbones. Look at Zendaya. Zendaya has all of those things. Now, uh, my thing, my thing was this: as long as they give her red hair, if they don't give her red hair, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Not that I'm going to be mad, but you know, uh, giving her red hair is going to is going to uh, add to obviously how, what we see Mary Jane as she's a redhead. She's fiery. It's kind of, you know, you know, it's a, it's a built in metaphor. There are pictures online of Zendaya with red hair and she's killing it guys. I'm telling you, she is killing it. Okay. That is my opinion. Now, can she act? Like I said, I've, I have kids. I've watched a Disney show. I'm not going to base everything on her Disney stuff, but I have confidence in two things. I have confidence from the feel that I get from Zendaya, and I have confidence from what Marvel Studios has done thus far in all of their casting. And I mean, it's been spot on. So how can you argue this? Now, we could go to Fox. I'm not talking about Fox and their casting. Obviously, we know the flaws and what Fox has done with, with the Marvel movies. Let me bring up Fantastic Four again in Human Torch, the, 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 the backlash of, of Human Torch being black. Here's my thing. I did not have any issue of Human Torch being black, being brown, being white. You know what I did have an issue with, though, was that he was adopted because, um, you know, his sister was still, Susan was still uh, Caucasian. He was black, so they had to change up the storyline. What I would, I, I would have just, you know, appreciated maybe make them both black or something, because I just the, the feel of him being adopted. That's where it it kind of alters the storyline in the characters. You know what I'm saying? Where is really the the color of their skin doesn't though, you know. So if if um, they could have just kind of did away with him being adopted, um, or you know, and having a, a different. Or, or no, no, no. What, she was adopted, was it? I'm sorry. I hated the movie. I hated the movie. I watched it and probably wasn't paying that much attention. So correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe it was Susan who was adopted. So, you know, that just kind of changed up the characters a little bit. But again, the, my issue had nothing really to do with the fact that they changed his race. Look at what Nick Fury has done as, as a black man, as a black character. And look at what Samuel L. Jackson has done and killed and nailed this character. So... For all those hating, guys, chill, okay? I base I base my thing on the on my actual my final um, critique on the performance. Let's give her a chance. But when it comes down to the look, you cannot argue and be upset that this isn't Mary Jane because of the color of her skin. Because I'm telling you, look at these pictures of Mary Jane. Go Google some pictures of Zendaya, especially the ones with the red hair, and she is killing it. Zendaya, Mary Jane. That's what I'm going with. I'm excited. I'm hyped. I can't wait for this movie, guys. So that's my little spiel. Show some comics, guys. Comments, guys. Let me know what you think. If 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 you don't like the decision, express your, express your reasons. I'm not going to be mad at you if you disagree with me, obviously. But I will. I want to. I want to just humbly put this in, in the forefront of your mind, guys. Think about it. Think about it. All If all we're judging on is the look, look at her pictures. Look at her pictures, guys. That's all I can say. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Till next time, leave some comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Appreciate it.